hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl and silver rose my name is rosemary i film about relationship marriage and motherhood thank you for stopping by thank you for tuning in to all my returning subscribers you guys are the best joining us for the first time please do well to click that subscribe button this video i'll be sharing with you guys how i was almost raped because of 10,000 naira yeah 10,000 naira so if you're interested do sit back grab your popcorn and your wine or your drink and relax while we dive into the video yeah so guys it all started though when i was i think um in secondary school ss1 ss2 or thereabout so we're on a midterm break now i attended a boarding school anyway so we were on a midterm break during that period so a friend of mine like my schoolmate then she invited me like she normally comes to visit me i mean i visit her her mom knows me and all that my parents knows her and as well so i grew up in anambra state on nature to be precise Wally work if you are representing please say present if you know this place now that i mentioned drop your comment say present Wally work you know that Wally work babes Wally work guys you know they carry last understand so that, that a friend that friend of mine stays in our dad so guys, let me give you guys background gist. That place now that I mentioned, Wally Wall, you know that is a, is a busy area. We are staying as of that time. Our house in front of it, all, people have their stores where they are selling rice. Yeah, bag of rice. Where they have something like that, they tends to be boy boy. Like people learning the trade. No more boy. Like not your guys. No more boy. I know you get what I mean. You understand? So there is this guy now that is always like. Me, I don't even know. The guy is always like showing interest in me and all that. Me, when I was growing up, I, I said in my mind, God, please, I don't want to marry a, a, a black guy. Like, guy, somebody that is black, somebody that is dark. That's, that was my own prayer point. When others are praying for thought, that can have some, that was my prayer point. So this guy is black. The guy in question is black. He's dark in complexion. Of course, all of us, we are black. So the guy is dark in complexion. He the guy has been looking for a way to talk to me shite me and all that and i don't know he happens to meet uh, uh, that my friend when my friend visited me that my girlfriend i was seeing her off so maybe the guy now they know each other from our dad or something because the guy stays in the same area with that my how it happened anyway i don't know how they managed to meet each other and all that and the guy now promised that my friend that if you can bring this your friend to my house like I'll give you 10,000 Naira and you know back then as we're going back to school your parents will give you at most 5k for upkeep money then when they come visiting towards the end of the month they will top the money up for you so for her to hear I will give you 10,000 Naira she, she was just like wow I've won jackpot if only I can just bring this my friend to your house you give me the money I'll be I said yes okay now that was how the whole plan the whole gist was supposed to play out understand so during that that midterm break of phone mobile phone as of then so she came to buy something towards that my area i don't know if it's the plan that actually brought her to buy something towards that my area because there there were other markets that she can easily buy something so for her to choose to come to my area i was like okay maybe the sickness was so serious i was just being naive without knowing that that she's about to betray jesus guys so me now i was telling her okay that i will come later in the day just go and take care of your mom and all that and my dad will soon go to work when he leaves the house i'll i'll quickly do what i'm doing now I'll, I'll come and see you before my younger ones come back from school now as naive as i was i didn't know that I, 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 i'm about to be raped because of 10k father now went to work i quickly do everything that i'm doing take my bread boom off i go to go and visit my friend that her mom is not feeling well on getting to the house like her mom told me that she just stepped out that she'll soon be back i don't know maybe she went to discuss with that guy so when her mom now said that she stepped out i feel that okay maybe she wants to go and get something and all that without knowing that she she went to go and inform the guy like phone booth to go and inform the guy oh guys she's coming to my house we're coming today get ready i'm not asking her mom Mommy, get King Mary. How is your health? Are you getting better? The woman was looking at me like, Are you trying to invite sickness upon me? Nothing is wrong with me. I'm feeling fine. So, for you to be asking me, How is my health? Get King Mary. Now, what you and all that means that 
something is as in there's something going on that she's not aware so me i just go that maybe this my friend was lying to me or maybe her mom doesn't want to tell me doesn't want me to know that she's sick or, or something so i wasn't like okay ah sorry hma my friend didn't have seen her right there. I don't want to call her name because if I call her name, a lot of people will know. That's some time or there about my friend now came back and was like, Eh, hey, okay, give me. I said, No, that just coming like your mom gave me water and all that. He said, Okay, that I'm bad. I want to go and get drugs for her mom. Only me, the thing was now playing in my head like your, your mom was looking at me like there's nothing wrong with her. And you're telling me you want to go and get drugs for your mom, okay? Guys, as she said, I should come and escort her, let her buy drugs for her mom. I okay i just said okay let me follow her and me i didn't know what was happening ah we've passed several uh, uh, shows that they are selling drugs this my friend is not making a stop like i want to buy this i'll turn and ask her come on, where did you say that we are even going said that I, I don't understand where do you say that we are going passing a lot of shows and all that i say no that she want to go and visit a friend then as we are coming back then they will buy the drugs and for her, for her mom for me i got angry i was like why didn't you tell me that you first of all visit friend i will buy drugs for your mom and all that okay let me not even panic the friend that you are visiting is he a girl or a guy guys he said he's a uh, her friend friend like her boyfriend friend i don't know <laughs> i said okay that ah me i'm not entering the house with you you know now i was just very i was just very scared i didn't want anything that would link me with any guy i didn't even have they even have boyfriend as of them so i was not like ah, ah, a guy no we shouldn't visit a guy ah, ah. it wasn't like more oh, for you or your for is it today let's go because nothing will happen guys that was how we went to this brother house she knocked the guy opened the door but i was still standing there like ah she was telling me oh yeah now come inside come inside little did jesus know that judas is about to betray betray him or oh. like me you know judas betrayed jesus with a kiss my own was they betrayed me with come inside now so as i was coming inside i noticed the guy movement the guy was now like shaking her like how far now uh -uh. He was giving her thumbs up another like job well done like this girl now that is feeling her past is not in the market as they normally tell me then has finally visited my house i wasn't like i was noticing the movement see her parents if you are training your children, give them that street smartness. Like, let them know when somebody is making a move or not. Because if you grow up in that place I grew up, you are not smart. Hmm. So here me go. If you are not smart, like street smartness is lacking in you. Something is wrong somewhere. So when they are now exchanging that their place and place, I was not like checking all of them, their body movement and all that. They were using eye to communicate. My mom has used eye to talk to me like full discussion. So if you are doing your eye like this. I know what you are saying, I know what you are trying to do or understand. So the girl was now using her to tell the girl like this now, like she should go and leave me alone in that house. So at a point, my, my mind I was like, I almost called her name, guys. So my mind was like, ah, you push you do now, let's go. What's all this for now? Why are you why are you people doing why are you people doing like deaf and dog? Me, I was already coding what was happening there. Understand? The guy was trying to let the girl out. So that it's just be me and him. Do not stay alone with an alone. Ladies, do not stay alone with an alone because something dangerous can happen. I didn't know what they have planned and all that. So that my friend now said, like, let her go and buy a drink for me and come back. I wasn't like, buy a drink for who? We came together. If I thought there's anybody that is going to buy a drink, it should be you. You are the one that will go and buy a drink for us. Understand? So the guy now said, Oh, it's true that he had drink in his house. Let him go and bring drink and all that. When the guy entered his house, we are still standing on that staircase. I refused to enter. So when the guy now now went to go and get the drink, my friend was now asking me, I, why are you doing like this now? Or oh, oh, if he uh, uh, oh, what the mania is he here that will stand and drink and uh, uh, take the drink? I say, my sister, I'm not planning to even drink the drink. If he brings the, the drink, we'll carry it and go and go and buy drugs for your mom. So the guy now entered inside and called my friend, like, uh, uh, she should come inside and I let them discuss. Now I was standing there trying to if drop what they are uh, uh, discussing. So the guy was not like, uh uh, let me say it in me. The guy was not like, oh, I'm not but I'm not going to get any fad, you know. I'm not going to get any fad, you know. I was not like, eh, eh, eh. I'm not going to get any fad, you know. 10,000. Because of 10,000, my friend almost lured me to be raped. I don't know. 
if this guy succeeded in having me alone in his house, of course you you and I know that there's no way he'll be looking at me and I'll be looking at him. First and foremost, people will say, what led you to his house? Without knowing that I did not walk with my two left leg to his house, so I was led with a friend. And a lot of people will put that blame on me, do you get? But that was not my fault. So when I heard that thing that was happening, the girl now came and was trying to cajole me inside uh, uh, entering the house. Tell you, uh, I just followed you to this place to really know the kind of friend that you are. You are not even worthy to become my friend number one. You lied to me that your mom was sick. When I got to your house, I was asking your mom after her health. She was looking at me like, do I really know what I'm saying? Now you are leading me to this guy now because of 10,000 naira. So when I said it, she herself, she was shocked. I walked out straight back to our house i didn't even stop to her mom to even greet her mother immediately i come outside i saw bye bye holy war he said 200 i enter boom to our house when i go to mind you i didn't even have up to 200 naira then because our house i was just strolling mcc and all that so when i go to 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 the house i had to go and borrow money for one of my daddy friend one of my daddy friend that sells in that place i told the man please i need 200 naira he didn't even ask me what for i just collected the 200 naira and gave the bike guy i went home i was not crying like if my friend can do this thing to me how much more my enemies so it makes me self to even not have any friend any girlfriend that i that i trust till date i've not even gotten a friend that that can hit my chest and say this one is a true friend so when she came to our house to explain and all that i didn't even answer i just told her please go like you're not my friend and all that and my dad was like uh -uh, how will you tell your friend to go like that i didn't want to disclose this thing to anybody so she quietly left the house and all that when we go back to school she she tried she did everything possible to seek my face and all that i was just giving her silent treatment please you're not ready to be my friend and all that at a point she was now stalking me pestering me around i told her pump and plane that if you keep disturbing me i'm going to tell everybody what you did how you almost lured me to your friend friend house for me to be raped because of ten thousand naira. that that was how she stopped at a point now you know now to air is human to forgive is divine at a point before we finish secondary school and all that i just had to forgive her we became friends again but not like close friends understand i hardly visit her she hardly visits me that was how we moved on and all that so please what even inspired me to say this my story so something online where a lady was going for she was invited for an interview and she didn't know that those people inviting her is those people that sell human park so luckily for her she went with her dad when that guy now saw the father he he ran away like imagine what would have happened if that lady didn't go for that uh, uh, interview with her dad so i just decided to come out here and chip in my own story like if you are visiting a friend always let your people know where you are going so that they so that in case of anything the country that we are now is not even safe so in case of anything somebody can account for where you are and all that and mind you that nobody know that was going to visit that my friend even my dad didn't know so he just goes crazy i was able to come out alive from that place it's not even about street smartness like i said earlier it just goes to it. know the kind of friends that you keep understand so guys with that we'll come to the end of this story give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe if you've not so guys if you are representing onisha anambra awada wally war and all that drop your comments on the comment section be kind to one another and love yourself generously of course i'll see you guys in my next video for now bye